What's going on everybody? This is Renegade number one. Today I want to talk about the deception behind the smile. Now this is similar to my first impression video, but I really it's not really about women. It's just really about people in general and socializing. When you socialize with a person, you can tell if they're fake or if they're genuine. You can sense a person's vigor. You should be able to sense a person's vigor really quick, whether they're genuine or whether they're not. You can tell if a person's looking down a lot, if a person's looking you in your eye. You got to pay attention to certain, certain cues. Certain body languages will give you certain cues. So I want you guys to pay attention very closely. Um, all right. This is an acronym that I've dissected from the word SMILE. When you think of the word SMILE, you normally try to... We use this emotion to create a blissful moment. But in reality, for me, I think SMILE, I would say it means to... Uh, you're suppressing my internal living experiences that's what smile would mean suppressing my internal living experiences which means you though you may feel some type of way you may feel negative at a moment but you'll smile over it when you take a picture they tell you to smile when you take a picture the thing is you're trying to uh, make it seem like it's a monumental moment when it's actually not for me I take straight I have a straight face and I can still make the picture look good even without smiling you know I don't have to do this I don't have to do that you know I think again that is a fake moment you don't always have to make every moment seem blissful or heartsome you don't have to make everything that like I think smiling is a is a forced emotion. I think we have to start letting our our actual authentic emotions come out when it comes to taking our pictures, when it comes to being around people, but you know, again, when it comes to something that needs to be sabotaged, obviously you have to be somewhat you have to maneuver in the way that you you must to get what you want at some at some particular points um but i think like i said when you smile you're suppressing your real your internal experiences and for me i don't know about you guys but how many times have you guys like smiled at people and you felt like you can't really show your you felt like you couldn't be yourself around certain people you had to smile a lot to be, you know, for people to be comfortable around you. Because people gravitate towards, supposedly they gravitate towards what's positive, but a smile, to me, I stay away from people who smile a lot because it's not really a real emotion. You know, they're trying to cover up. They're, tr they're fake. I like genuine emotions. You don't, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to frown or be straight. I just like people that talk, you know, people that uh, have charisma. You know, and I, I think you guys would agree with me. Don't you gravitate towards people who are charismatic, who just have that, they have the ability to mesmerize you with their their genuine energy. And I, that, that's really, that's, that's really what I want to convey to you guys. Smiling, you know, there's, there's different types of smiles. You got the crooked smile, you got the, um, a lot of people want to hide who they really are under that that fake that fake smile that they have. You know, some people when they smile at you, it's it's a it's a get away from me type smile. Or when they smile at you, they're just trying to get through. You know, every smile does not mean I'm happy to see you. There's different levels of smiling. And um some like I said, some people are hiding who they really are. You can tell that most of the people that uh, exist in the society that we live in or the world that we live in, they're surrogates. They're not real human beings. Real human beings have genuine emotions. 
If you ever seen the movie Get uh not Get It was it Get Out? Get Out with the black dude and the white girl, the uh it came out about a year ago. I thought that movie was symbolic of fake people. You know, if you come, you see everybody's polite, you know, um, politically correct. Everybody's, they they display these sinister smiles. Chris, Chris knew something was wrong, the way they were smiling. And so, at... If you really sense the energy or the atmosphere or the vigor from the people, you could just tell that people like that, they disgust me because they, you know, they were drugged like that to smile, to make everything seem like it's okay. Smiling, a smile is a cover up. A smile is a pretense. It's similar to being nice. And that's why um, a lot of people will not show you their internal experiences, not yet. They will never do that. You have to figure that out. You know, I know the old cliche, don't judge a book by its cover. But when the book shows you the epilogue, uh, not the epilogue, but the introduction, it tells you everything. It shows you, you don't, you don't need to read the whole book. Trust me, you don't need to read the whole book. So you should be able to, people tell you, they give you their summary of what their book is about. I'm going to repeat that again. Some people say don't judge a book by its cover. People give you their summary of their book. They tell you their summary of what their book is about. They tell you who they are based off their actions. So you don't need to inquire about who they are. You know? And so it's funny. Again, when that, when, uh, back to the Get Out movie, when he t Chris took a picture of that black guy, he, he stopped smiling and he showed his real emotions. And you could just see all the pain, all the anarchy that he was going through. And I feel like most people in society, they're smiling. And then once they, if you really dig deeper into that person, they're really not happy. They're depressed. They're miserable. They hide. You know? And again... They're they're like surrogates. Uh, it's like no matter where you go, you may have a different external uh, physical body, but it, internally it's the same people that you keep coming across. Fake puppets that that you keep coming across, and so really, you got to watch out for those type of people, man. It's dangerous. You know, that's why, you know, when I come across a person for the first time, I'm not, again, I know what to expect. I already know what they're going to do. I already know their tactics. I can pretty much predict how they are. You know, simplistic individuals smiling. Watch that. You know, um, for me, I show care with my actions. Um, and, you know, I think you guys should do the same thing, man. We love each other. We're for brothers, man. Again, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, man. Stop. You know, when you take pictures, just be relaxed. Be who you are. I had a female, you know, she took took my picture one time. She was telling me to smile. I was like, I don't do that fake emotion stuff. I just, you know, had a straight serious face, but I wasn't angry. I just had a straight face. You know, just... And some people thought it was attractive. Some people thought I needed to smile. I didn't really care. I really do what I prefer to do. And same with you guys. You guys don't force something when it doesn't need to be done. You understand? Because smiling in pictures is part of the social norm. You know? Oh, you should do this. You should do this in your picture. You should do that in your picture. Make yourself sound friendly. Listen. If, uh... You have to take a certain picture that shows your charisma. Not necessar necessarily smiling. Everybody smiles. You have to find a way to generate an emotion that makes you stand out. But I'm going to let that sink in with you guys. But continue. I just want you guys to stop being programmed by the matrix on how to behave. I see so many people out here. They're brainwashed. They're behaving based off how their parents tell them to behave. Based off 
how their girlfriend tells them to behave or their boyfriend or whatever the case may be. You, you need to learn how to be comfortable with your own emotions, your true emotions. Wear your true colors. Wear your, don't continue to wear this, uh, this, this, uh, this fraudulent body. Continue being yourself, man. And when you, and I'm gonna be honest, when you are yourself truly, you're gonna be alone. And I think I know why a lot of people, you know, smile and do all that. They want to be liked. They want to fit in with the norm. Those are obus. Those are or, uh, ordinary beings under existence. You don't need to be an ordinary being under existence. Stay away from the obus. Continue going against the grain. Continue being who you are. You know, and like I said, real will gravitate towards the real when you're genuine. Fake people gravitate towards, to, uh, towards fake people. And, you know, the whole concept about opposites attract, that's actually not a, a genuine thing. I think it's really similar, attracts similar. But that's another story. But um, this is Renegade number one. Stay true. Stay true to my channel. Uh, continue to subscribe. Like the video. And um, peace.